What's up, you guys? UFO Proof here. And we got a couple different things to go over. But first, um, this is... Now, I could really use my subscribers' advice on this because I'm thinking one thing, and chances are it's probably not that. But um, So I got a uh, an email from a reporter, um, and she said that she wants to do an uh, interview with me about um, my channel and stuff like that, you know? And... I mean, so, you know, this is the uh, email she she sent me and asked me. We had a correspondence, you know, we we're going back and forth. And, and um, you know, so, like, you know, we were just messaging each other back and forth with a bunch of different stuff, um, trying to set it up. Uh, she was running late or whatever. Um, I didn't receive the email until a while after she get, sent it, you know. I didn't see it. So uh, she was getting ready to go into a meeting, and she asked if we could set up a an interview for after the weekend, you know, for next week. And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. And then after, um, after all that, I, you know, I'm like, I go and I start looking her up to check in her and make sure she's not some crazy fucking troll or something. And uh, she's a, she's a, um, she's a reporter. And then I start looking, I see all these <laughs> like nice pictures of her, you know, going and reporting and, you know, doing her job as like a real journalist, you know? And, um, and then, uh, she said that she had talked to her, show producer or whatever about doing the story on my channel and uh i just gotta say you know i don't think like i'm worried that maybe she um didn't <laughs> doesn't really know my channel you get what i'm saying like maybe she saw like a couple videos or something and there are some videos where, surprisingly enough, where I'm actually really cool. I don't really cuss anyone out or, you know, go all fucking crazy like I do, you know. Um, and so, you know, I might come off as, you know, not insanely angry at hoaxers and stuff like that. I might just come off like a regular dude, um, which I'm far from it. <laughs> These hoaxers have made me fucking crazy. Uh, so I'm worried <laughs> that... If she actually, if we actually do a story, she does a story on me, that if, like, people start finding out, like, they go and they see the story on the news or whatever, and then they go and they check out my channel, and then they find out what I'm about, <laughs> and then they're disgusted, and she gets fucking fired. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm almost, like, thinking I should just cancel it, because I'm like... <laughs> You know, I mean, it's really cool, you know? Yeah, man, you know, spread the word. That's what I want to do. Spread the word. Tell the truth, you know? That's what I want. But I don't want anyone to get fired over it. And, um... <laughs> I just got to say, this is... This is me we're talking about. This is UFO proof, okay? This is Kyle, baby. <laughs> what do you guys think, you know? Uh, I mean, at least it's not like the um inquisitor or the daily mirror or, you know one of those fucking english tabloids not nothing against the english you know your guys' tabloids are just way better than ours you know um uh you know at least it's not one of those guys like you know so that's really cool although i'm gonna be honest with you guys if i could get one of them to do a story on my channel that would be fantastic if you know it was presented as you know what I am, you know, they like, tell the truth and shit like that, and, you know, because um, they're the kind that would, you know, they're like, oh yeah, it's fine, you know, you cuss, whatever, sure, we're all about it, you show dead body, sure, whatever, they don't give a fuck, you know, but those are also the same magazines and, and online articles that promote people like Secure Team 10 or Scott C. Waring, shit like that, you know, it comes from, like, people like that, that's how they get so big, and, um, I think, like, if you want to fight that, you have to go to where the fight is, you know? So it's like, you need something to counteract it. That's what I think we can do. But also, you know, I can't let it uh, destroy our credibility, you know? So be real careful about that. I don't think this um, interview would destroy our credibility or anything like that. I think it'd probably help us. But I think if they find out what I'm all about, <laughs> you know, she'll be fucking... On the road, man. The back. Really, him? Really? Were you drunk? <laughs> you know, like I just, 
I'm worried about it. What do you guys think, though? Let, let let me get your advice on it so I can just go over and decide what's probably what's the best for us, you know, like for, for the channel and everything, you know, because, um, you know, I want to spread the word and everything, but um, I don't want to put our integrity, our credibility at risk, and I don't want to put a person's job at risk, but I do think that it would probably help us, you know, get the word out, but... You know, and that's, you know, like, I don't think anything bad will come from it for us, but maybe possibly for her. Just tell me what you guys think. You think it'll be okay? Let me know. If you think, you know what, skip it, go on to the next one, just let me know, all right? Um, and, I mean, just, what can you do, right? All right. All right, so this next video comes from our friend Simon over in Houston, Texas. At first, I was thinking um, Chinese lanterns, like you see in the line, very, very common, all right? But what's great is uh, we're going to get a little secret, a little tip right here. It's going to show us exactly what it most likely is right here. See it? Anyone notice it? There's a little clue in there that tells us exactly what this is. Ah, fuck it, I'll just tell you. It's skydivers. It's definitely skydivers. How do we know that? Well, if you go back a little bit in the scene, you'll see that they are heading towards a big, basically looks like a big ball of light. There's a ton of light coming from the ground. They are flying into a stadium for a game, whether it's football or baseball or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> but that's what's happening 100%. They do this all the time, all over. And now... Um, I recognized it as soon as I saw it, what, what it was. The formations, the way they're flying. In my last video, I mentioned how there's, they, I think they might be skydivers, but I don't see the plane off to the side. Look what's in this video. The plane is off to the side. You can see it. You see, um, I told you I was right about that too. It's like you can always see them too. You can even see it in this one. You, you know, the plane's even up there. It's definitely skydivers. So why did I decide to post this video if I know exactly what it is. It's not a UFO. It's identified uh, pretty much, I would say. I want to say one thing, okay? If we could get Simon here to videotape every UFO, that would be great because this tape is... He's driving right now, okay? He's straight up driving. You'll see at the end he's driving because it faces the speedometer and everything. He's driving and filming at the same time like yeah this ain't shit i got this no problem and let's fucking all kept in view the entire time i was thoroughly impressed with his his photography skills all right i was like i gotta show this anyway just to say like you know not everyone scissor and shakes and fucking goes all crazy with their camera every time a ufo so shows up some people are like yeah it's cool i got this man no problem <laughs> you know hey man texas man they always surprise you i swear to god man All right, you guys, so before I go, um, make sure you come and check out my website at realufoproof.tk and um, you know, sign up, become a member. We got the new Google Hangouts button, so anyone who wants to go there and do Hangouts with anyone else, you can totally, you know, it works 10 times better than the Tiny Chat app, I think. Um, uh, it's got a lot more features and stuff, so that should be a lot of fun. And also, <laughs> I have a little, um, a little prize for you guys, okay? I'm gonna ask you a question and I want you guys to give me the answer, all right? Uh, and, but you can't give it to me on the page. You gotta come on the YouTube channel. You gotta come to my website and then come and message me personally. And if you get it right, I will give you a link to a secret video that no one has access to except me. It's unlisted and um, it's pretty sick, man. So uh, let's see who's gonna, who's gonna claim that prize, all right? Here goes the question. Before UFOs were called UFOs, what did the military call them? All right, you guys, come see me over there, all right? UFO proof out.